Here's the ACL tear grading system explained so that you can better understand your MRI. The MRI is looking at the ACL inside your knee and the degree to which it's torn so that they can determine the severity of the tear and figure out what treatment you need, especially if you need surgery. So let me just show you the bones here. Here's the thigh bone and here's the shin bone below and the ACL is right in the middle right here. So let me zoom in on that for you. There's the shin bone and here's the ACL. I'm just going to draw a little thicker because it's a thick ligament and we're going to do grade one right here. There's grade one, grade two. I'm just going to write a G. Grade one, grade two, and grade three. Let's draw this a couple more times over here. Now in grade one, it's still connected, but what they're determining if it's grade one is it's, it's stretched. So I'm just going to draw a red line around it. It's not torn, it's just stretched. This would be the equivalent of a sprain in your knee. So this, this, like if you ever see sports, they'll say they have a knee sprain. That's pretty much what a grade one ACL injury is. In grade two, you have a partial tear. So you'll have fibers that are not connected. You can see right there, there's a chunk of it torn. And that's where the injury is. I'm just going to color that in as red. And this would be called a oops, partial tear. This can often heal if you put it, this will usually heal just fine if you put it in the right situation. All of them will heal just fine if you put it in the right situation, but this will heal particularly fast. And these hardly ever have surgery. But grade three, those are the ones that doctors are ready to do surgery on because that's what they're trained to do. That would be a full tear. It is completely disconnected. There is a gap and it can be disconnected at different areas. It might be a little bit closer to the thigh bone up here or a little bit closer to the, to the shin bone. In some cases, it actually breaks off the bone up here or down here and there's a different kind of ACL surgery where they pin down the end of it. Um, th that would be called a primary repair. But um, in any case, th these would all be called a full or a complete, I'm going to write slash complete tear. So you won't see these images this obvious on your MRI. You'll see black and white, weird looking images, multiples of them. If you have the pictures, more often than not, you're going to see a radiology report or the MRI report that's text, it's, it's words in paragraphs with a bunch of medical terminology. And you'll see the terms grade one, grade two, grade three. And this is what they're referring to in the system. And these are the ones that go to surgery. These, well, this one will never have surgery because it's still connected. And I've never seen anybody with a partial tear have surgery. These are the ones that are often candidates for surgery. We help people heal naturally from an ACL tear, even if they have a full or a complete tear. You can learn more about how we do that by going down into the description. We've got a playlist called the ACL Tear Help Playlist. It's all our YouTube videos on how we help people heal naturally from an ACL tear.